Welcome to the Deep Kotor machine. In this introductory video, we are giving a simple overview of the machine and illustrating the setting and running of a basic coating process. The machine has a front door with a window for inspecting the ongoing process. On the ceiling, it has a cap containing the cooling fan. On the right side, there is an electrical panel containing gold circuitry. The panel is connected through a USB cable to a standard Windows PC, which runs the controlling software. Opening the door, we can look at the inside arrangement of the machine. In the upper part, there is the infrared baking oven. In the lower part, there is the coating tank. In the middle, there is an arm that moves up and down. By appending a support substrate to it, we are able to bring this substrate down to the tank for coating and then up to the oven for baking. Appending the substrate is done by loosening up the screws, then placing the substrate and finally tightening up the screws again. In this overview, there will be no coating fluid in the tank. Indeed, the tank is a substitute of a real one, and the substrate is a finished test circuit. We are now setting up a test coating process. This is the basic process configuration window of the Deep Coater Controller software, shown as it appears in the first execution. For a single cycle process, we only have to set the height of the substrate. In this example, we can leave untouched the default value of 30 cm. Now we open the ARM speed page. The deep coater has been designed for very low arm speeds, but for speeding up this test, we are using quite high values. We select an extraction speed of 15 cm per minute and the same value for immersion speed by choosing the appropriate option. Now we go to the coating page. Here we select a 5 seconds dwell time, which is the time the substrate spends inside the tank. In the baking page we enable baking, then select a 100 Celsius degrees oven temperature, and finally set a dwell time of 5 seconds. Activating baking enables the inspection page. We go there and enable inspection. We want to manually confirm to go on with the process, so we check the wait for user confirmation option. Our process setup is complete, so we can click on the start button in the lower right angle of the window for executing the coding process. We get a confirmation box and click on the yes button. After a delay of 5 seconds, the process starts. The software sets up the immersion and the instruction speeds, the substrate height and the oven target temperature. Then our movement begins. Switching from maximum speed to immersion speed takes place when the substrate starts to dip inside the tank. The correct position is computed from the substrate height. At a speed of 15 cm per minute, the arm takes about 2 minutes to complete the movement. We set up a 5 seconds dwell time. Movement from the tank to the home position is performed at the extraction speed. Okay. 
When extraction is complete, speed changes from the extraction value to the maximum one. Inspection allows us to check the substrate before baking. We require user confirmation before moving on. When inspection is complete, the arm starts moving toward the oven for baking. This movement is done at the maximum speed of 18.8 .8 cm per minute. At this speed, the arm takes about 2 minutes to completely bring the substrate inside the oven. We set up a 5 seconds baking length. Coming out of the oven is performed at the maximum speed too. After the baking step, this basic process is complete.